Alley. NCAA volleyball at its best right there. Just just two teams that were just um, going at it and um, slugging out. Uh, congratulations to uh, just a tremendous Georgia Tech team and and uh, you know how gritty they that that team is and we knew we had to match their grit to. to to give ourselves a chance to win, and I thought we did a, a great job with that. Uh, their outsides are a handful, uh, both their left sides that take 60 swings last night each and then come in here and take over 50 uh, this evening. And um, uh, I mean, they're just, they're elite players. The right side was a handful uh, for us, but, um, you know, our, our, our players just didn't, uh, uh, you know, we, we battled, both teams did, both teams just, um, battled and and fought and you know they were having quite a bit of success it certainly felt like it at times but uh, you look at the hitting percentages and it it, it it felt like they were hitting 400 at times but but they weren't it was just they were hitting really good shots and the defense that our team started playing as the match was moving forward was just really fantastic we're at our best when we're dean up like that and we're working that hard in transition so um, uh, great night. Very happy to, um, for these guys. This uh, our th our three captains, and th they certainly led the way this evening. Just, just for the players, I want to kind of get your thoughts on you know, it, it advancing, and you know, assuming there's there are no upsets. You know, this is probably the last match. You know, here, uh, just your thoughts on wrapping it up here the way. I mean, I don't think we would have wanted to leave the field house any other way. Um, playing our best ball and playing for each other, you really felt like all the energy and the love from the crowd. And um, we don't care who's next. We're going to keep going because they're in our way. Just love Badger Volleyball. I think every time we get to step in the field house, we know how much love the fans have for us. And it just it just showed so much when we sit out there on the court together. And I don't I don't think I, like Dev said, wanted to go out any other way. Yeah, you know, that train keeps moving and tomorrow we'll be back in this gym, but like standing in front of everybody who gives you heart every time they come and step into this gym and just like knowing that this is like, the last time we were doing this together and being a part of it as a player, it's, it's, it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard, but it's just so, it's, we're so grateful to be a part of something like that. And as Frank said, Wisconsin Volleyball is something so unique. And it's, it's going to be so, it's going to be so hard to beat that. But it's, I love that we'll have a place like that to come back. Uh, for the players and Kelly, again, walk Walk me through all of those emotions, you know, when you walk onto the court and heck, even the, the band didn't even get to play varsity, but you had an acapella version. That felt special in itself too. Walk us through those emotions, you know, after that final point. Sarah, I know you fell to the floor too and, and all those moments. Walk us through those raw emotions at the end of that match. For me, it was just straight gratitude. Like, I just felt so thankful that I get the opportunity to do it with these girls and to do it with these fans. Um, Kelly came over next to me on varsity, and at that point, I just, I was just so thankful. He has put so much heart into this team. Um, and so at that moment, I just, I just tried to soak it up as much as I could. I mean, you know, it's, um, it's a lot. I mean, it's not, you don't realize that you just played your last point, that I took my last swing in the field house until it's over. And you look around, and I'm seeing fans that I've seen since my freshman year, even before then, when they were like, we're so excited for your career. And that now that it's come to not the end, but the end here at the field house, is, um, it's overwhelming. And I'm just so grateful that I was able to spend the last five years of my life in this program <laughs> with these girls. And I met my best friends here. It was just. It's just the consistency, you know. They, sh they 
people show up for us every every night and I don't even have words I, I, I don't have words because it's it sucks because you will not have that any other place but it's just so unique so unique <coughs> At first set, you were seemingly in control. You're up six pretty late in the set. They come back and take it. And that somehow you were able to regain yourself. What, what did you guys tell yourself coming out of that uh, to get back on track? I mean, we knew Georgia Tech was going to be a team that was going to not give up and put their heart out on the line. And I think just going into those next sets, it was – all right, no judgment here. We're, we're continuing to move forward and continuing to press on everything. So I think we did a really good job of staying calm and just working towards that next point, which is what Kelly emphasized uh, before the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not, you see how fast I'm not crying anymore? Like, that's, <laughs> that's how fast we're going to be back tomorrow. Yeah. We never cry. <laughs> Kelly, I guess I want to get your, your thoughts, especially on, you know, the end of the second set and, you know, you had Charlie back there and, you, you know, you had your, you know, big front line up there. And just kind of talk about that moment in the match and, you know, really the way Charlie kind of delivered for you, not only uh, serving that point, but just with her, her serve in general today? Uh, we, we scored a lot of points off of her serve, and, and we've done that quite a few times. And, and uh, she serves with pace, and it's flat, and she locates it really well. And when she gets really good hand contact, the ball dances. And we've got a front row that is – uh, when she's back there, that is, that's her best blocking. Um, and uh, so we, we've got the ability to, to get on runs. And she came up with a massive block in the third set. Uh, um, to, to, was that the third set or was that the second set when third. she got the stuff? Third. Third. Third, third set. Third. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, and they were, having, <laughs> they were having some success on her quite a bit, but she – she lined up well, got herself across, and, and turned those hands in, and, and that was as big of a play as, as any. Um, but uh, you know, I thought both both of our freshmen had a had a really really um, a good match, and and uh, you know, the, I think that one of the best things that you can tell with somebody you get to this point is is you can't tell that they're a freshman <laughs> you know the the confidence that comes out of them and and they're just they're just playing and they're balling and and not riding emotional roller coasters um and uh that would have been a match with the just the, the back and forth back and forth that um it can get away from you uh emotionally and mentally if, if you're not careful and you're not just locked in uh to right here and right now and um you know, the, these guys did it. Our seniors showed, showed the example of that, and I thought our freshmen did an excellent job of following. It was big time. Big time. Thanks, guys. Thank you.